I don't know what kind of flight that was. That was kind of an alien flight, but it got done, dude. First down. All right, everybody. Jerm headed out. He had to do stuff, and he's had a long day. So now y'all just get the Matty O Show. Now, honestly, I ain't been here in five years. I don't know what to expect, so we're going all natural. Hole 10, 388, par 3. Honestly, the conditions are going to be pretty horrid. I can already tell it's kind of a sucker pin. Play it left. If you get it, depending on the wind of the putt, run it, lay it up. Cat tails at the boundary line. I'm just going to play it left and I might act like the basket's 20 foot left of what it actually is and just go from there. We're going to see what this disc is made of. Better. I don't know what kind of flight that was. That was kind of an alien flight, but it got done, dude. First down. That one didn't make it, but we're going to give myself benefit of the doubt. Because it's the Matty O Show and I can do what I want right now. No, she didn't. There she is. So the next one, I think par on this one's not so bad. It's gonna be so windy. We don't know which way it's gonna blow. Sucker pin, get your three and get out of here. All right, I can't say that no more though. I've said that like six times. The Saki Bomb Supreme Felon are obviously very grippy, but this felon in particular has a nice flat profile. It's gonna be a good versatile forehand and backhand disc. Made it. <laughs> Not bad. The first couple throws with it. You got a probably five, 10 mile an hour headwinds. Can hold a little straighter. Probably give me a little more distance. Just got to control the angle. Flat discs like this, sometimes they can be a little bit flippy, but these have the flat top, but they still have overstable finish. All right, hole 11 here, Millennium Course. Par four, 635. Little downhill. I've never seen this, but what I can already tell is 635. Probably don't really have to go super aggressive off the tee to get a decent second shot. So I'm just gonna put it in play. Make sure I don't do nothing dumb. It's gonna be windy all week. Grind the shot out, go for there. Looks like I just wanna put it in play. Now it looks like I can play like a low play up to the basket. I can already tell from here. So we're gonna stick to that plan. Julio Jones, the last one I'm ever gonna tag Julio because he's about to retire. The last Julio Jones. This might be his last flight, he might go right. All right, we're gonna take my advice this time and just put it in play. I think I'm gonna just go kill LaVisca this week. I'm just gonna Throw really smooth, crisp shots and just put them in play. Hashtag kill, baby. All right, I'm sticking to my plan. I'm gonna try to bounce it over the hill, like right in that little bowl. Bounce it up. That way I can get the speed to stop when it skips. If I can even make it skip because the wind's blowing freaking. That way or that way? Thank you. Some friendly advice if you ever come to Vegas, bring some backups because. A lot of gravel rock, not much grass out here, so I brought a lot of backups, so I'm actually spending a lot of time. That's my money dog. I know what she does. He does. Hole 12 here on Millennium Course. Texas golf here. 1,000 foot on the dot. I mean, you throw two, three, 
Three 333 foot shots, you got a one footer. That's a good game plan. But I'm gonna try to go a little more on the tee shot. But if you ever think about it like that, just three 330 foot shots. Boom. Three 333s. Let's go for that. Dude, this is the hardest one possible in this. Three, three, three. Stick to the code. In these instances, you just gotta smooth it out, throw through it, and just not try to make anything buckle. There we go. That's efficient. Rolta. I call this a wind storm. Just keep trying this uh kill the visca strategy I'm gonna work with all weekend. Smooth, crisp shots. Nothing at no nothing over 85% unless I got the tailwind where I can guarantee my flight. I'll try to throw it low and bounce it right in that little B minus, let me get another one. Ouch. Wounded soldier. There's that Annie with the right to left drop. Comes in handy. That whole, I think that whole all depends on which way the wind blows and just stay, keep it in the middle. And I think you want to get that bird though, for sure. Hole 13 on the Millennium course here, 363 uphill, probably plays like 400. Got a green and a bunker comes right in front of the hole. Uh, man, it depends on the wind this, this week. From what I can tell, Headwind, you probably want to play it safe. Just putt across. If there's a go for it wind, go for it. Take your putt from the... But if you t hit it in the bunker, you're going to have a gnarly windy putt. So I think just playing it safe this tournament is the proper play unless you're just trying to risk it for the biscuit, you know? All day. That's all we need. Through this one pretty much as good as I can place it over here. Still got the risk reward with the right to left. And I was talking about the right to left, putting any drop. This one I'm a little concerned about because it's uphill. I'll show you why. If you don't get enough speed on it, to lose the speed, it'll just catch. Make you feel not like this is gonna work. So when you do the any drop, like I've been saying, put some you want to put some umph on it. You don't ever want it to pan out, do that, because if you trust it with the right to left, it's gonna just drop. I'll show you why not to throw it soft. The wind will go back right to left. And then I must have made it. Let me try one more. Efficient, you get efficient runs. That wind kind of messed me up on my thing. It switched to a headwind right when I was. Hole 14 here, Millennium Disc Golf Course. We got a par three, 465. I'm guessing it's over the hill. Don't throw on the OB green. Got a straight headwind. Let's just put it in play and Grind it out, get a par. 465. Can't even read the sign, it's getting blown over. Let's just put it in play. I 
That's OB, but that's probably the cleanest shot I've ever thrown in my whole life. Like, literally. That was literally the crispiest headwind shot I've ever thrown. Even after the best headwind shot of my life, I'm still 80 feet. It's time to start playing safe. Let's just start getting our pars and getting out here like the tournament's coming up on Thursday, like it is. New game plan. Because these shots, I've noticed these shots aren't even easy now, so now I'm like, man, you gotta start practicing these shots. Can't, can't let, take one for granted out of this course, that's for sure. Just keep playing efficient golf. All right, here on the Millennium Course, hole 15, par three, 335, 337, 337. I've actually played this one before. Just tra traditional, just stall. I honestly can't tell if that's hard pack sand or soft, so I'm gonna throw two. Let's test the skips, we'll go from there. Looks a little shorter than it is for sure. Let's go, Ati. Thank y'all who all supported me for the last run of Ati's. Much love. Soft pack, we'll try that again. So it looks like they're gonna stick whenever they hit the ground. Try this Ricky fell, I ain't thrown in a while. Just like that. I got lucky. Well, I was kind of right off the tee. Ground's hard, ground is soft too, so it's just a matter where you land, just the closer to the basket, looks like it hits soft. Like you got soft, you got hard. It's Vegas, baby, you gotta roll the dice, you know? No. You knew it was gonna happen. All right, getting down to the nitty gritty here, hole 16 on the Millennium Course. Par four, 693. Man, this one I feel like is kind of the show, show for hole, kind of rip it, especially with this good win we got. I definitely can tell that playing it to the right, it's a sm smart play, kind of feeds that way. It'll probably give you a little more distance that way and keeps you away from all the trouble. Downhill might suck it left a little bit more, but I think you just want to just grip it and rip it on this one. Let's see if I can turn this grace over. Old Black Bertha. We'll take that. I like that. Black Bertha. Not Big Bertha, Black Bertha. Got a bonafide star building in the bag right there. I'm digging on that grace. But even though I've, I probably boomed it 75 feet further than I really thought I was even gonna get, and I got this, so this is probably the, I wasn't gonna say gonna be the easiest hole in the course. I can already feel it. Definitely wanna get this one, guaranteed. And even on this upshot, you can bank it in the hill just kind of crash it, guarantee yourself at least a 20 footer. Shouldn't struggle with this one at all for anybody. Unless you start getting cute. All right, that was a little cute. Get that bird. All right, back here at hole 17, Millennium Course. This is the last part three on the course. 332, bonafide lefty sidearm hole. Just want to hit the gap. Make sure you get it over the hill. That hill kind of goes up a little more off the tee than it looks like on camera. So you want to kind of keep it flat. Don't get the nose up. Just be smooth. I'm going to throw my Ati. They put that thing on there too. Kind of guards that left side. So you want to kind of hug the left side of that awning there. Pretty good. There's actually a wall of rocks that's not there. Really bad for your frisbees. You just wanna, I think you just kinda wanna throw this one and just hope for the best for where the landing spot is because with that wind coming through that tunnel, 
This is just tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Oh! There we go. Crazy when it don't blow. One of the coolest property areas of the whole park. Probably one of my least favorite holes, honestly. But just don't do no damage on this one. If you get the two, do it. Just avoid the bogey. That's the main. I really think Vegas is all about not bogeying. But when you make a bogey, it's almost like a doubles bogey when you're playing doubles. Like it just affects you so much on this course with the amount of par threes that it's just a no no. So just make sure you don't bogey this one. All right, everyone. For some reason, we made it to the end. The wind stopped blowing. Don't believe it because it's not going to stop. Hole 18, Millennium Course, par 3, 402. I can go ahead and tell you it's a lot longer than that. Looks like there's a green about circles, circle two's edge, OB, so you probably want to at least get it 350 up the hill. I can just tell you want to land it flat. Make sure because anything that's going to skip is going to kind of roll to the bottom unless you hit it exactly on the top. Dream scenario, LVC, Sunday afternoon. The whole world, I got the whole world by one stroke, but they all just parked it. And this is my chance to win the tournament. Let's see what I got. So it's me against the world. Let's see who wins. Is it gonna stay flat enough? Oh, world. We're gonna see what comes out of this. All right, I got this for the win. If I three putt though, the whole world wins, so. And y'all are lucky, because I'm not the best uphill putter. So I'm gonna grind this one out, act like this is for it. You got a dream, dream big. You know, We'll call it even. We'll play it off on the next video. Hey, thank you for checking out my video. Thank you, Ace Run Productions. Thank you, Trilogy, Westside, all the above for everything y'all do for me. We'll play it off next time. See you next time.